All right, let's see what we got. Our first Titan, baby. I'm excited for this. I have no idea what to expect, so. Oh, okay. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, AKA Drop. I'm pretty guys, some more Koro Mon. And we are picking up where we left off on the last episode. But if you guys have been enjoying this series, be sure to show some love. Hit that like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And uh, if you're an A-Drive Army Plus member, well, thank you for being awesome as always, of course. This is our squad. It's coming together pretty nicely, uh, I'd like to think. So we are going to continue to put in the work and hopefully, you know, do the thing. I'm using these different berries that are really clutch, actually. Uh, so I'm going to use that and we'll just see how things go. His Oh, wow. That, that guy looks like he evolved. All right, big damage. He's got a Juba Fruit to heal. Slam is resisted. It still does a lot. Menacing activates. I found a weak spot. I'm probably gonna get knocked out here. That does nothing. Are you living? Okay. Going into Potencia. Let's get it. This guy's intense, dude. Nice critical hit. We'll knock out that big dude. Starting to see some of the evolved forms. So we got 400. Get to level 18. Oh, the Titan's coming up. That's it, baby. We get a Duria fruit. All right, so this looks like a pretty serious puzzle. All right, and you want to battle, I assume. Yeah, I think the Titans are like gym leaders, so I think that's what we're up against next. How do I get over there? Looks like you have to, oh, I think I see it. I think I have to go all the way back to the beginning. Oh, I need to, I know what I have to do. I have to get back to the one I was just on. And I don't think I can do that from where I'm at, so. Okay. And now I need to go to this one. Okay, cool. Are you headed to the Titan? We are almost at the Titan. We are almost at the Titan. He's gonna voodoo into Ghost and knock him out in the back, dude. I wonder if it attacks. I did, Sphinx, yeah. I wonder if it attacks the lowest HP or something. And he's gonna voodoo into Jimmy. Yeah, I think it hits the lowest, like the lowest HP, dude. Ooh, that's the evolved form of the Cub Zero, I think. Hang in there, Jimmy. No, Jimmy. Oh, man. You can live Potencia, no. Potencia. Double sting him. Go on, Wormy. You get double XP for that. That's gonna be a lot. Well, you only got 500. Okay, I made it through the fight. Everybody got XP. I got some milestones. My team needs to be healed very badly. A potent scent. Oh, a potent scent. We can get it. We can hunt for potents. I think Nuzlocke in this game would actually be pretty hard now that I've done it. I'm glad I didn't because I, I think I wouldn't be having as much fun. Like it's, it's nice to just play this game casually, but I think if I'll be real, if people on YouTube support the series and like the series, then I'll probably Nuzlocke this. I feel like it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. If the series flops, which, you know, it might, um, which is fine, I'm still doing it, then I don't know if I would Nuzlocke it. Uh, hello there, Mr. Mind. Another challenger, please come in. Hello. You're trying to reach the top of the power tower, I assume. Well, you have to get past my challenge first. You better turn back, because you'll never break my code. I will enter a code in my computer by selecting four colors, and you'll try to break the code in ten tries or less. I just slipped the colored fuses in your pocket. You didn't even notice that. How could you ever break my code? You should be grateful. You need them to input the code. You do this by putting four fuses in the sockets of the door, and then you want to submit a guess code you press on the button. If correct fuses are in the correct position, the door will open. The screen will indicate how many fuses are correct in the wrong position. Or not. It's like Wordle. The green check mark indicates correct fuses, orange indicates wrong positions, and red means it's not present. It's basically Wordle. It's not too late to give up, though. I'm entering the code now, don't peek. You'll never break this code. Okay, so it's it's basically Wordle. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so green is... Okay, it says one is in the correct spot, one is the right color, and two are wrong, but it doesn't tell me which is which, though? Oh. So three are in the wrong spot, 
I'll turn the difficulty up a bit. You have 10 seconds to change the fuses and the fuses will be locked into place. Wait, what? That's actually nuts. So green is correct, but it's not in the right spot, presumably. Uh, purple and orange. Okay, so one is in the right spot. Okay, so, oh, red was in the same spot twice. So red, red is the only one I have right so far, I think. Okay. Oh, there's no challenge this time, okay. All right, so red is in the right spot. Cause it was right. I had two of them right. And then I had three right, so yellow is supposed to be on here and blue is supposed to be on here. So let's do yellow here and blue here. I think yellow, blue, red are three of the colors. Two are wrong, so that means purple is wrong. I think green, no green. Green could actually be right as well, I think. Okay, so one of them's wrong, two of them are... Huh. Now you won't be able to see your previous guesses. Not if I take a screenshot of it. <laughs> uh, I will take a screenshot of it. So I never tried purple in this slot, so let's try purple here. I think red is good. I think blue is gonna go over here. And then I think, so I'm assuming that green is wrong and I'm assuming that orange is wrong. So I'm gonna put yellow here and let's see. Hey, I got it. Let's go, fourth try. There it is. You broke my code already. I can't believe it. I'll take those fuses back. I guess I went too easy on you. You got lucky, next time will be harder. You won't beat me again, you just wait. That was fun, that was a fun little puzzle. Pretty proud I got that as quick as I did. I did all right. Oh boy. Fifth floor looking intense. Okay, this might take a while. Um, Jeffrey, he's got three. Status in this game is definitely rough. 1,088, jeez. That's some XP right there. Ghost gets some XP and unlocks some potential as well. So that's the thing, he's a special attacker but doesn't have any special attack right now. It's kinda tough. Doesn't have any moves. Aurora. Oh, this guy, this guy wrecked me last time. My level 26 wormy, beast mode. Frost chop! Nope. Okay, and yeah, we can just hit him with the double sting to finish him off. Very nice. Everybody else getting some love. And then here comes a what? Oh, it's the evolved form Sheer Tooth. That guy's pretty sick. Not faster than me though. All right. Oh yes, dude. Ghost is evolving. Very excited for this. I hope it learns some other moves. Ooh. Yeah, this is about to be sick. Bro. Actually so good, Lunar Wolf. Actually so clean. All right, does he learn any moves? Level 21? I need him to learn some moves, dude. All right, so Ghost, I gotta look at his stats. Yeah, Ghost is, has, just has crazy special attack and speed, so even though he has no special attack moves, he's gonna eventually get some, I think, so. So now we open up I, and now I need to find G. Is that all of them? It is. All right, I wanna go back and heal if I can. Oh, it just takes me to six. What are you doing here? Please show some identification. Are you a drive? You look nothing like Rigel described. You're here to collect some of Volkar's essence, right? You're almost there, just one more elevator. Let me remind you about our checkpoint system. Convenient, to think they're sending someone to collect essence. I hope you have enough Coromon cakes. All right, so we are about to do the boss battle, which is very exciting. I'm gonna go heal and then I'm gonna do that. You wish I had a slightly better XP share item? I don't think it's necessary, dude. I have two XP share items in my inventory right now that I'm using, and one of them has made my my um, lunar wolf or whatever level up really fast. And the other one isn't as good, but it's something. I don't think it's bad at all, actually. I would say I'm not using this guy. So all things considered, my team is all pretty similar levels with the exception of Wormy, who's pretty much been ahead the whole game. Might use a coupon this time. All right, let's buy, yeah, because now I can buy a lot. Let's. Let's buy like six of those. Let's buy a couple of these. 
That's a deal, baby. All right, that was that was a good time to use a coupon right there. I used my 50% off coupon. I just got half my money back, and we stocked up at the store. Let's get it. That's the kind of that's the kind of extreme couponing you want to see from a, a a run like this. Okay, that's that's how you know your boy is locked in right now. All right, luxury call. All right, and then let's see what's good. I mean, I don't know how tough this is gonna be, but we'll see. I mean, I like to think I'm in in good shape. All right, let's see what we got. Our first Titan, baby. I'm excited for this. I have no idea what to expect, so. Oh, okay. Voltgar, what is this? Another one who seeks my essence? Did the last bit not suffice? I came here to ensure your safety. There are, I dare say it is the other way around. It's bad enough to be bound to this physical inferior form. Must you now pester and prod me with your whim? You shall know the power of the bender of storms. All right, let's see how rough he is. Voltgar. Okay, so he's got 418 HP, level 25. My storm's raging for th through Valua. Did you think they happened by chance? They are my doing. All right, we're just gonna straight up try to burn him, I think. And that'll be a good start, because that's gonna ship away. 418 HP is a lot of HP, though. Spark this. Okay, hit one time. That could have hit multiple times and done a lot, so. Oh, burn really doesn't do much, does it? All right, Cinder. Oh my god, that did zero. Lightning Stray. Hang in there, Jimmy. All right, so I, I just am assuming that everything's gonna die at some point in this fight. So I'm just gonna let him go down and just try to get as much damage off as I can. Wow, this guy is gonna be insane. I can already feel it. All right, you just beat me. All right, I'm gonna use my six mon then. And maybe lower his defense. Even though most of my mons are special type. I'm just gonna go into Goss Slime now because I'm not really gonna use them otherwise. And maybe I can get, I think it's Electric Pound that drops defense. I might've gotten it backwards. Oh, he's not even gonna live in a hit anyways, doesn't matter, okay. All right, so that didn't work out very well. All right, um, let's go into... I guess let's go into Ghost. Ghost looks so sick. Menacing is good here, actually. I drop his attack. I don't know if he's physical or special, though, but I'll take the attack drop. Um, I don't want to go for Shade Walker, I guess. That did zero damage, though. Surge Punch. Okay, so I actually feel like I should switch out so I can use Menacing again. Let's go into Potencia. I got him down like a quarter health. Surge Punch again. Oh my god, that did damage. All right, Potencia, you're going down. We're gonna hit him with a peck, though. Spark this. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting shredded by this thing, dude. I don't see, I don't know if this is like Nuzlockable though, in hindsight, right? Like how do you Nuzlock this fight? <laughs> you have to be like level 30 plus and then just use, I don't even know, hard, and you can't use potions in battle, what? Um, all right, I'm gonna just go for bait attack, I guess, I don't know. Surge punch. Okay, he knocked me out again. All right, so now I'm down to just two, but it's my strongest two, so that's the good news. All right, we're gonna go Elsa. And now I'm gonna use Frozen Spikes. Okay. He's got Lightning Strike. All right, Elsa took it. Do you think this is almost over? My storms will cleanse me from your puny status infliction. Oh, man. There goes my burn. Now it makes it difficult for my Coromon to move. What? This 
This thing is so strong. Spark this. If he knocks me out here, I might just lose. Oh yeah, if I get knocked out, I'm done. I think I lose, dude. <laughs> I mean, I can heal. I can try to heal around now that I send out, I send out Wormy. He's my last. I can try to heal up. I have some Phoenix. I have some Phoenix, Phoenix stones. Okay, I have some Phoenix stones. So let's use one on Elsa, get Elsa all the way up. It's good that I have those, that's clutch. Oh, he has to restore his SP, so he was out of SP there, but he gets half of it back so fast. I think I just double sting, or I feelers and then double sting. Spark wall? What does that do? It was raised for three turns. I don't know what that does. I feel like it's gonna paralyze me if I hit him, but I have to just attack anyway, I think. Oh, that's some damage. Oh, I lose SP because the wall sparks. Okay. I actually just did a lot of damage. Electrify. He gets all charged up. It contains all my power. Oh, he legit just paralyzed in one of my dudes in the back. I kind of want to feelers here, but then I don't get to attack with double sting. So I think you have the double sting. Still does okay damage. I'm out of SP, so. Super punch. Oh my god, what was that damage? Oh my god. Okay, I actually, so I don't lose, I have to heal. I'm gonna Phoenix Stone my Wormy. Okay, I always want to make sure I have two alive and he can't move because he has to recharge, so that's fine. So now I'm gonna frozen spike. And then he's gonna he's gonna one-shot me on the next turn, I think, so I'll use that turn to heal again, something else. I'm shocked and couldn't move. Ow. Alright, I'm just gonna use this turn to heal something else. I feel like there's there's no point in doing anything other than that, so I'll heal Jimmy Turtle up. Because I'm just gonna get punched and knocked out here, I think. Yeah, he's just gonna super punch me and knock me out, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, he needs to recharge those. So that's our chance. Oh, he doesn't. We don't have SP. We don't have any SP. All right, I guess I go Jimmy then, and then I heal up the SP. Okay, I think we can win this though. I think we, I think we can. We're gonna use an SP cake. To Wormy. And then he's gonna electrify and then he's gonna punch, I think. Oh, he was unable to move this time, okay. And then I'm gonna use, just to be safe, I'm gonna, wow, you really have to do this, man. Uh, you really have to like potion spam, I think, to beat this thing. I, th I think if I was a little higher level maybe, but, oh, he sparked this, he doesn't even shoot down electrify. Ooh. Okay. My energy got depleted, I don't even have any energy. Actually wild, all right. I'm just using the opportunity to heal some dudes up so they can maybe come in and attack if I need them. All right, Jimmy, you did great, buddy. You're just gonna go down again. Oh, he's restoring his SP again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just letting Jimmy go down here. Maybe I should have used the turn to heal. All right, lightning strike. Now I'm going into Be uh, Beazel. And hopefully I can, I can, get this guy knocked out here. I think Wormy can do work now. I think uh, Double Sting is gonna do a lot. It may not KO, but it'll do a lot. That's darn close, I got a crit. Yeah, he's down to 18. If I live the Spark Disc, we're chilling. Oh, he only hits once, let's get it. Finish it, Wormy! Double Sting! Let's go. Let's get it, I beat Voltgar. Good job, Wormy. Jimmy gets the 22. Wants to learn Boulder Barrage. A physical sand move. Has a barrage of boulders to fold down to the target. Has a 20% chance to knock him down. I mean, I guess I'll give it a flaming tackle just to give him a different move, but I need special attacks. Ah, you still have a ways to grow, but I sense great potential. Take my essence and make it count this time. Ayo. 
I got the electric essence. Now my siblings await you. As for me, I need to recharge. I can almost see my house from here. <laughs> Rigel, what's up? I just heard what happened to Thomas. Is everything okay at the power tower? Did the kidnappers reach Voltgar? There's no trace of them. They must have went somewhere else. Then could you meet me and Nicola at Buzzlet Lab? We need to discuss our next move. All right, off to Buzzlet Lab. I don't know how you nuzlocked that though. Like I think if you're trying to nuzlocke, you lose it that right, right there for sure. Yeah, a sand type. Yeah, I guess that's true. I didn't have any sand types. That is true. I wasn't using any sand types. But then I, again, I only remember running into like one or two sand types. All right, there you are. Please join us. Good, everyone is here. I have something important to share. We had a closer look at the video footage and the conclusion we came to is unsettling. They called them Wabonians. They abducted Thomas. Our team has verified that energy was actually some sort of Titan essence. How? So they're targeting the Titans? I neither confirm nor deny, but it's very likely they were after the essence locator after all. Speaking of which, Thomas gave me the essence locator. Thanks for keeping it out of their hands, A-Drive. I'll kick it from you to keep it safe. The Wobonians did not get their hands on the essence locator, but with Thomas at their grip, it's only a matter of time before they construct. That's why I suggest A-Drive collects Titan essences. While keeping an eye out for any trace of Thomas, of course. That would mean so much to me. Still, the weird energy they use doesn't explain the monstrous lumen. Let's take one step at a time. Our best re scientists are retracing that lumen steps as we speak. We'll know more once we capture it. I gather you've already managed to obtain Volkar's essence. Well done, I knew you were up to the task. The next one you should focus on is the city of Pawberry, where my old friend Hugh awaits your arrival. The ghost essence is radiating deep within a monastery. Hugh can provide you with a key. I'll head back to Lux Solus campus for now and help my team figure out what actually happened here. Stay strong, Nicola. We'll find a way to get Thomas back. Okay, so we get to do the ghost essence next. I almost caught him. Phone message from engineer. All right, let's check our milestones and let's check our phone. Uh, we've developed new features for our battle researchers. Drop by the campus trainer hub F1 for more info. Where's the campus trainer hub floor one, dude? This is the Lux Soul campus. Oh, it's over here, dude. Isn't it? Oh, is this it right here? Okay. Okay, this is it. You have to go to the top floor. I feel like, how was I gonna know that? I don't know, man. I feel like I, I had no clue where I was supposed to go. <laughs> uh, the throwing arm is looking mighty wimpy. Let me show you how to get pumped. What's going on with my throwing arm, dude? That's it, keep it up. And after throwing, you can your chance to catch wild Coromon has increased. Okay. Okay, so now it looks like I... Probably go back here. Ah, here we go. So we're in a new area called the Soggy Swamp. Don't move! The foreign substance scanner has detected something potentially harmful. Step back. Show us, what did you bring in that backpack of yours? No, that's your average everyday cake. How about this? Stop messing with me. Do you have anything that radiates, something that can be smelly? Oh, I think I know. That's the culprit. It's the energy they call Titan Essence. Titan Essence? We've heard about that from our Scoutmaster, didn't we? He said that long ago, Titans created this whole planet. The same energy flows through all organic beings, especially Coromon. Scoutmaster would definitely approve of this item, don't you think so? All right, I'll whitelist it in the machine so you can pass freely. That's just gonna let the evil people through too, but you can come through now. Uh, we are the Soggy Scouts. The caretakers of Soggy Swamp. Uh, you can make your own Coromon sense. Take a look at the Coromon recipe book. Stay sharp. There's only a 10 second window. Our pamphlet will explain more. Uh, only snip scented shrooms when they are ripe. Definitely not ripe. Okay, ripe is they're like glowing. Oh, that's cool. So I see it when they light up. That's when you get the shrooms. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, the tadpoles evolve for Amphibio. That's gotta be it. Humidif- Oh, I'm going for this thing. I'm catching this thing, 100%. 100% I'm catching this thing. All right, let's weaken it. I'm gonna go into... I mean, also super effective against it. Dream Spinner, I'm Amphibio. Let's check him out. Water type, uncommon. Slam, ignore plane. Slush, cloud burst. Yeah, you're getting added to the team. Like, you're actually a member right now, Frogger. 
Okay, cool. I think that's a great spot for us to wrap up for this episode of Coromon. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Uh, be sure to like the video if you have, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And don't forget that uh, you can get early access uh, of these videos by simply heading over to adrivelive.com and becoming a Plus member. So thank you guys for enjoying Coromon. That's the end of this episode, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.